So what is going on guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today we are joined on a Monday morning, it is so early. Um, it's like 10 o'clock, I said it's very early, it's like 10 o'clock, been up since like 9. Um, the reason why I'm so shattered is last night for my 100 days of fitness, I um, did a five and a half mile run and it took just under an hour because I went quite slow and oh my god I'm shattered and I'm just so so tired. A couple of days ago I stayed up till 5 editing your FIFA rating. But at the moment we're filming Number six, the final your thief rating with Luke and Charlie. But first, what we're gonna do is have a little kick about before we start filming, just to warm up and stuff like that. So yeah, have a little look at the kick about. Yeah. Are we gonna battle it out? We have finished. Your beef rating six. Finally, it's been a long old day. We've been filming for four hours. We also filmed a video on Charlie's channel. When can you expect that video out? Sunday. Sunday. Luke, when can we expect a video out from you? Never. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a very enjoyable day filming. And this is the last time we're going to film until we go to uni, huh? Wait, here we go. Molly, how many keep ups with a tennis ball? Let me up. Oh, Theo. Oh, shit. It's gone under my car. Oh. Okay, so I'm back now. I've got a Bit of a headache actually because we were heading the ball in today's challenges. But look who's here. Jenny, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna get my phone in slow-mo as well. She's blowing dandelions and I wanna see the slow-mo. Okay, we have now come to Tesco's to grab one of our favourite snacks, well, lunches, which is chicken tikka, like the sauce in the packet, I'll show you in a sec, with tiger bread, the tiger white bread. You like you need yeah. Okay, so I'm now in Donnell and Janine's getting some uni stuff and I found this. It's a football cushion and we're going to do a keep you up challenge in Donnell with a football cushion. If someone sees me, they're going to think I'm a proper weirdo. Right, attempt one. Oh, eight's not bad for my first go. Twenty-seven. I'm gonna try the round the world for this one. Oh. Here we go. It's called the Dunelm Bucket Challenge Shot. Where's the scissors? Oh. Attempt number two. Oh, off the rim. Attempt number three. This next trick shot is called the Dunelm headshot. Oh, attempt number three. Oh, oh. I've only gone and done it. I've bought the football. I just thought, you know, it's just really fun kicking it around and in my room it's going to be a, a, a whale of a fun time. So, now I have a very exciting thing to play with and I'm bored in my room. From a silly purchase, to a very good purchase. Basically, I was gonna go to Ikea on the way through to Bournemouth in Southampton uh, to get a TV like stand for 50 quid in Ikea, but just saw pretty much exactly the same in Argos for 20 quid. So, got an absolute bargain. I'm just hoping it's big enough to go at the end of my bed, because my bed is about 40 centimeters high. That is 38 centimeters high, so I'm hoping it's all right. So, I've just finished up the match. Oh, I've got low battery as well, Luke. Another victory in another the bag. And and we got, didn't even have like our strongest team. We didn't, we had a solid team. Another victory in the bag. I'm not gonna lie, they did get wild up a little bit. Luke almost killed someone, they got in a fight. But I do, I. But another victory, another game, and we move on to tomorrow in the day and the life of Theo. Good morning again, guys. Today is, what day is it today? Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Um, it's about quarter to 12. I'm catching a train in 15 minutes. So Janine has given me a link to the station. Hopefully oh, we get make it. Yeah, are we gonna make it a time? You have to find out in like two seconds. There is no tuna and sweet corn sandwiches. Oh no, it's what I came in here for. What am I gonna do? I have arrived at my hotel. It's a very nice and spacious travel lodge. Um I'm in London basically, and what am I doing? I'm here for a slash football event tomorrow. 
Um, I think it's like Arsenal beat Chelsea. There's going to be a couple of our YouTubers in it and um, some ex-Arsenal players. I think Paul Merson's our actual manager. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you this. Hopefully, I'm, hopefully I can tell you. If not, I'm going to have to cut everything out and then suddenly I'll be back here being, what are you talking about, Theo? Back on the streets of London. It is weird vlogging by myself in public. Very weird. Um, I'm late. I'm always late and I need to be at King's Cross in three minutes. It's going to take another 13 minutes, so I need to get a move on. I'm back from the meeting. Um, it's so annoying because I just can't tell you anything and oh my god, very, very, very exciting stuff for this year and this season. There's a little hint there this season. Um, but yeah, I wish I could tell you guys. I'm going to do that annoying YouTuber thing like saying we've got exciting things coming up, but I can't tell you anything. But trust me, exciting things. Um, I now have nothing to do. I'm in London in a hotel. Um, well, I have like editing and stuff to do. Um, yeah, but I have nothing planned. So, and it's only like six o'clock. So I don't know what I'm going to do. The aftermath's on tonight though, so I could watch that. I am so freaking tired. I've just been laying on my bed, just like browsing YouTube. Um, and I realised I had to do top five skills of the week. I need to film it and I need to pick the five winners this week. I am so tired, I just put on a coffee on the old coffee machine over there. Um, it's proper, it's, it's not even a coffee machine, it's a kettle. Because it's got like a Nescafe stuff. Oh, I ache so much. That is actually surprisingly a nice coffee. I know, right? I'm currently watching the Arsenal game when it's not lagging because of this Wi-Fi. And, and I'm also doing top five skills of the week. And I picked the five winners. Um, ordering them as well is going to be really good. The only thing about this week, I'm going to struggle to recreate it because I'm in London today and tomorrow. I get back Wednesday night and then Thursday I go to Bournemouth, so I'm travelling all day. So it's going to be a tight one, but hopefully I can find time and do it. This just happened. I went down into the restaurant and I was like, nah, I may as well just get a Domino's. Good morning guys. It is Wednesday morning, very early. Um, oh my god, it's just so annoying. Can you hear that? Ready? The drill. That's been going on all bloody morning. What hotel gets someone to come in and drill in walls and guests are still sleeping? Why can't you just do it at 10 o'clock when breakfast ends? That is the biggest baked bean can I've ever seen in my life. Look at it compared to a plate. We have arrived at the arena of dreams. Um, we are setting up now, about to go get changed. Today and right now is prediction time. George, what's your prediction of the game? I'm today? not going to sit on the fence, I'm going to say 3 2 Chelsea. 3 2 Chelsea? Yeah. I reckon it's going to be even higher. I reckon like a, a 5 3 Arsenal, because I made that mistake with the Wembley Cup. I said it's going to be low scoring. It was like I said 13 six, goals. The Wembley Cup. I said 6 4 to us. Close enough. That was very close. Seven, All right, we're both going for quite a high scoring game. Now we have to become enemies. Oi, Elliot! Yo! What's the score gonna be? The score? Oh god. It's gonna be. 8 1. Oh my god. I basically, I've just been told I can't tell you what's happening today. Uh, so it's like an Arsenal v Chelsea sort of thing for obviously the game on Saturday, which is today. Um, so we're doing like a rematch of it, like a pre game ritual um, with our captain, it's Paul Manson, he's coming in in a bit. And the other captain for Chelsea team is Dennis Wise. We're here with Slash Football. This is our team. Look at this, this is the team that we're going to beat Chelsea with. So it's an Arsenal beat Chelsea match before the game, no, game before the game with Slash Football. And hopefully we can win. Right, going to head out for the warm up on the Zidane pitch. This is the enemy right now. CFC, don't want to talk to them. And this is the goal I'm going to be scoring and hopefully defending in. Right, I've just finished up filming. Elliot, we won 13-9. I can tell you the score because I forget the game is already out now. So head over to Slash Football, go check out the game. I think I scored about. Well, I think you absolutely smashed it, mate. Just say. What can I say? What can I say? At least seven. I think at least seven. seven. But Paul Merson, unbelievable player. He's so <laughs> level-headed. He's so good. He really knuckles us down, so and very good captain. Um, and this is the enemy. Look at them. Ugh. Chelsea. Oh, wait, what do you think the score is going to be on today? Because so, it's coming out on Saturday, what's the score going to be? Arsenal Chelsea? I don't know. Gonna wait. Gonna wait and find out. What's the score going to be, mate? 
Hey. What's the score going to be, Arsenal Chelsea? Um, hmm. 5-all. Five 5-all. Five yeah, come on the Chelsea. Oh my god. Right, yeah. that crossbar, this ball. I love you. Oh, oh, Oi! Cool, didn't I hit crossbar? Joe. Ah, Theo, man. What did you think of the Bro, game today? What did I, forget the game, mate. What do I think of you is the question. Oi! Silky touch. Golden touch. I didn't know. I, bruv, you yeah, got but the thing is, though, you, you, you kept got it a text. secret. You used nah. to play, he was at Millwall. Nah, yeah, no, he, used to be a, he used to be a no, baller. No, he used still to is. be before the knees got old and that. Yeah, and but you know you've got some tackers no, today. All, all I had to do, right, is tackle, do my job, right? Get out, can we say his name on this? Yeah. Yeah, get out wisely, yeah. Get, tackle you, had, him. you had a very good like cramped confrontation him. with him. Oh, right? I cramped him, you clamped him out of the way, and I passed it to Theo. That's all I had to do. Tackle the ball. Pass it to Theo. Just like Merce, I said. Yeah. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. And we won in the and end. And we won in the game. He scored like six goals, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't count out. Did, did you it. score? Me, yeah, I did actually. It's funny because you came off for me. Yeah. No, I came off. Oh, I came on for you. Yeah. And then it was you like, always oh, scored for my head, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, for the centre, I was like, they definitely I was need like, to go. I watch whispered it. in your ear, I'm gonna make you proud. Oh. And then it was a one-touch finish. Listen, guys. Make sure you keep watching this man. He's a top legend. Oh. Cheeky Sport. Make sure you give us a subscribe, like as well. Cheeky Sport, Joel. I'm out. Okay, it's now home time. Um, I can't be asked to hold my camera, so I'm going to put it in the bag and I'll see you at home because tonight I've got a lot of packing to do because tomorrow is Bournemouth moving in day. What do you want, Elliot? <laughs> I'm back home. It's much later on. It's like night time. I filmed um, the skill bit, like the recreating bit for top five skills, which I managed to do. And now I'm in the attic because I'm par currently packing. Um, there's the air on it here that I'm trying to get. See that box there? The TV box, I need that to put my TV in so I can pack. I've packed like everything, so the only thing I need to pack now is my setup and my toiletries. I can do my toiletries tomorrow, but I don't want to do my setup because FIFA 17's just come out. The 10 hour thing, so I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm pretty much packed. This is what the car is looking like for me. I think my mum and dad have taken like, my bike and a couple of things down. Um, yeah, it's like taking me all night. Let me use that, there we go. It's taken me pretty much all night to do it. Um, but I think we're finally there. I just got to do, um, I literally just have to do like toiletries and a couple of bits and bobs and then we are fully packed for tomorrow because obviously I went a couple of weeks ago for Janine's birthday um, to take the other stuff down. But yeah, a bit weird. Janine's here now, she just cooked me dinner. Bit of a weird one, but I think it's going to be nice. So this is her concoction. You know those, um, uh, what do you call it, like videos on Facebook of food? This is what she got it from, so it's like a wrap with cheese and pesto and sweet corn. And it's fried, isn't it? It's called something in Mexico, but it's basically Q Facebook meal legend. Right guys, it's the next day. Um, I have just left home. As you can see, the car is all packed up. Uh, say goodbye to Janine, I'll see her in a couple of weeks. Mum and Dad are currently following me behind because they need to like come and help me unpack my stuff in the new house and hopefully set up my new desk and stuff like that because I got enrolled today at 1 o'clock. It's going to be quite tight as well because I'm meant to get to Bournemouth for 12 but I did get to uni for 1. So yeah, it was quite upsetting, I'm not going to lie. I'll see you in Bournemouth. Okay, so it is quarter past 1. Um, I got to Bournemouth at 12. I had to rush off and go straight to uni for like enrolment and stuff. While I was at uni, Mum and Dad were kindly setting up my desk and now pretty much almost everything is done my main setup is done as you can see it's like night time and um, i've got like my deodorant stuff there this is what my room is looking like at the moment that's my setup over there i'll go through that in detail um yeah this is it like i will do a proper room tour and stuff like that um I'll let me try and get a better view but as you can see i'm really not finished at all but this is what it's looking like and then over there's just an absolute tip yeah and i'll do a room tour setup tour house tour everything tour Coming soon. Okay, it's the next day. Um, finally moved in. Just went for a shop at the old Asda. Feels weird because over there is my old flat where we used to live. So it's a bit strange being back here, but let me show you how much like the first shop is. It's 83 pounds worth of food. Um, and this is the old boot. Look at that, very neatly packed by me. Though the bread and a couple of things down there. This is all right, isn't it? And then boom, it's just, oh wait, hang on a sec. Let me get that in there. Now imagine having to lug this back to the flat over there. That'd be absolutely terrible. I've unpacked the shopping and we're back home. It's currently 10 to 6 Friday evening and this is where I'm going to end the vlog. I've completely edited it. As you can see, this is the video you have just watched. And if you have made it this far, comment down below, uni house 
is white. Uni House is white. Remember that? If you've made it here, you're a legend, and comment Uni House is white. But if you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to everyone that has appeared in this video, and I'll see you next week for another weekly vlog. So until then, guys, I'll see you later.